Right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another video. Uh, right, before we get started, it is my birthday today. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Doing my little dance, you can't see. Um, yeah, so we really need subscribers. It's still a new channel. Uh, we don't have loads of subscribers on here yet. We're getting plenty of views, not enough subscribers. So if you enjoy the videos, please hit subscribe for my birthday or because you like the channel, whichever you want to do. Right, okay, so um, I've been getting loads of comments about um, how I have my phone mounted onto my bike because some of you have been buying the phone uh, mounts and they're not working for the Kawasaki Ninja and you don't know why. So, this is it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install it, uh, which ones to use, which ones not to use and uh, I'm going for a little ride and show you how strong and sturdy it is. So this is my Kawasaki Ninja, my favourite bike in the whole world. This is going to be my test subject for today. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this hole here. Uh, you might know this is a stem mount hole, or stem hole, or yoke, or whatever. There's loads of different names for it. So the problem lies here. Um, you're buying the kits online for the stem mounts. And, let's get this camera angle right. And basically, this hole here, you will have a cap on it when you buy the Kawasaki from new. There should be a black cap there. So just pull it off, you'll be left with this hole. It's a funny shape. Uh, actually, that is not a stem hole, uh, that is actually an Allen key hole, and if you buy any stem mount to go on there, it won't fit because it's not a stem mount hole. It's actually an Allen key hole, and if you stick a big enough Allen key in there, twist it, the whole top of there will come off. So that's where the problem lies. That is not a stem hole, that is an Allen key hole. Right, okay, so let's move on to the next part of the uh, video. So in order to get this to work you're going to need one of these this is a special mount uh, with a rubber bottom basically that will uh, squeeze and fit the hole that's there now some of you have been buying the quad lock uh, stem mounts uh, because they've got a really good marketing uh, thing going on at the moment on Facebook and whatnot, and they look really good. So you've been buying them, and basically the bit that goes in there won't fit that hole. It's the wrong fitting for that hole. Uh, what this does is, like I say, it's rubber, and as long as it's not too wide there, it'll fit to any shape. It'll squeeze together, and it'll fit in all the holes. So this is a special mount. This is called a Telferizer or the Telferizer, and you can buy them from several places, but the main place uh, I would suggest you buy this from is actually from uh, Telferizer website itself. I will link this in the comments uh, or in the description of the video. Now, it does have top-notch customer service. It is based here in Manchester in England, UK, and I believe he will ship worldwide, and he does these not just for Kawasaki's, but he does them for all different kinds of bikes that uh, you've got funny shapes, yokels and whatnot. Um, so I would recommend definitely hitting him up uh, you've got to send him an email it'll give you a call and you pay over the phone or whatever uh, and he'll get it sent out pretty much next day shipping it does pretty, I'm pretty sure he does do international shipping uh, America, Europe, all over there as long as you pay for the shipping it'll sort you out top customer service, highly recommended right, okay, so this is the first bit that you need the second bit that you're going to need is going to be this now this is a RAM um, there you go, there's the word RAM and it's an extender for a one inch ball mount basically if I just undo that the ball goes into there and it tighten up and it holds and the good thing about this is what's amazing is because it's on a ball you can pretty much put it on any angle that you want so that's the second part so we're going to stick that in there and that's going to be on there and the third part is a quad lock if you're going to use quad lock um you're going to need one of these now when you go on the quad lock website it's going to try and sell you the whole kit 
and you don't want the kit because the kit won't fit this hole so you have to buy this item separately it's in the quad lock mount section now this is called a one inch ball adapter there you are look one inch ball adapter right okay so how this is going to work let's get it out of this box it's stuck there we go right, okay so as you can see this has also got a one inch ball at the end what we're going to do is going to loosen this off this is a quick idea of how it's going to work a little bit more so we can fit in and that is going to be the premise of this build today now you can just get it straightened up you can because it's on a ball you can have it at any angle pretty much that you want so that's great uh, now the other piece you need for this as well have i got my phone on there yes i have so you need a case for your phone now you get these off quad lock um i do uh recommend you actually buy this piece and the firm mount off amazon i'll stick you some links below and the reason for that is is that it will get shipped faster and if you have any problems amazon have the best returns uh, system on the planet so uh, that's what i would recommend but you can go on quad lock website you can buy these on there and they work really well now how this works is it's got four indentations and that's got four sort of uh the uh, latches that come out and it's gonna go like that and twist and that's it and i pr promise you this is strong and this is super secure it's not going nowhere a little bit of flex up and down but no major thing that's literally i'm telling you that is the strongest firm mount you're going to get and it is the strongest on the market i believe there's no pulling wires over no pulling rubber bands over to hold them in you know there's a release catch there uh, normally it would be out the side just have to put it on this bit skew with so you just knock your release catch twist and pull off easy as that done right okay let's get on to installing this uh, onto the bike it's really really easy um i'll just take this apart dead easy to do just unscrew it that's it done right okay stick that there Right, okay, back to the Telfriser. Uh, right, okay, what you need to do here, and you get instructions with this when you get it, but you need um, about a finger width apart here. I would say roughly about that. Now, what we're going to do, I don't know if you can see this with the angle of the GoPro, we're just going to stick it in as far as it goes, a bit further. That's it, just so it's in. You can see it's in down there, can't you? And then we're just going to twist and keep twisting you can get a better angle on this and we're just gonna keep twisting keep twisting keep twisting keep twisting it takes quite a bit it's quite a long thread on this just keep twisting keep twisting keep twisting until it gets really tight and that rubber will be taking the shape of that allen key hole and it should grip it really firm really strong if it don't work you've pushed it in too far but keep twisting dead easy to uninstall just turn it the other way and it drops out of the bottom as you can the tighter you get that the better you're going to get right okay that's pretty tight that. i don't think that's going anywhere that rubber uh, seal at the bottom now should have got stuck in them allen key uh, holes and it won't be going anywhere it's got a really good grip on it it's actually got a better grip than the quad lock mounts have because it's rubber as well it takes some absorption out of the uh, bumps and whatnot right okay um so we've got the extender this is a one uh, the smallest extender that they do on amazon they do do a longer one if you want one a bit longer and they do do a larger one which i think is probably too large for this but they're all on amazon uh, if you want to pick one up this is just the smallest one uh, and the one that i prefer so we'll just get it on there Depending on what hand you are, you might want that uh, on the left hand side if you're left handed or if you're like me, right handed on the right hand side. Now, you can have your phone different ways. I like to have mine in landscape mode instead of portrait mode. So I'm going to have my release catch at the bottom. Let's just undo that a bit. I just think it looks better. It takes a little bit of fiddling just to get it all level and exactly where you want it. Tighten these as tight as you can. 
not going nowhere. There's a little tiny little bit of play in that, but once I've tightened it all up and gone through it properly, it'd be perfect. Right, okay, fun. I did say I like it in uh, portrait mode, in uh, landscape mode rather than portrait mode. Um, so let's try it. That's portrait mode. There you are. Dead easy, easy to put on. And let's try it in landscape mode, the way I prefer it. There you are, landscape mode. So it's dead easy, it's strong, it's secure, it does move around a little bit. But I promise you, uh, if you crash your bike, this will be the only thing that will be still secure on your bike. It'll be there. As you can see it from this side of you. And there's plenty of room to get your keys in and out. Key in. Twist it. If you've got a bunch of keys on there, you might struggle with it a little bit. But uh, I recommend having your key separate anyway. Yeah, it's fairly easy. It's easy to put your phone off. I tend to put my key in first. And then put my phone on. That's just the way that I've found. It takes a little bit of getting used to because the notches are... I'm going to put it on a 45 degree angle. Oh, there we are. Easy done. Yeah, so it's easy to get your keys in. Plenty of room there. And done. That's it. That's how it's installed. Right, okay. So if you're like me, uh, you want to check it out. You want to go for a little ride. And you want to test just exactly how strong and sturdy it is. Now, before we do that, I do have a 12 volt uh, USB uh, installed on mine. Uh, so the 12 volt input there. I just have a USB uh, connector on there. And I have the wire here. Let's get the wire out. This is the wire. Basically, I'll plug it in. Plugged into there. I'll wrap it around my handlebars. Better than this, but it's just to quickly show you. And then my phone's on charge. Perfect. There you are. How good does that look? I think it looks amazing. There you are. If you prefer it in portrait mode, uh, you might have to move it around a little bit. Um, yeah, like that. It's a bit hard to charge when it's in portrait mode unless you have it angled up because you don't have a lot of room there for your charger to go in. But like I say, I prefer it in landscape mode. Like that. And then I can just have my wire poking out the bottom of here. This is an all through your underbars there. And then, boom, it's on charge. Easy as that. Right, okay, we're going to go for a little run. We're going to test it on some bumps, uh, if we can. Um, and we'll see how it, how it runs. I'll just get it levelled up properly. I'll tighten it up and then let's go. Right, guys, guys and girls, we are back. We're going to go on a quick run up the road. We've got some speed bumps we're going to go over. And we've got a few turns, a few twisties. And we're going to see how strong and sturdy the phone is on the mount. It's moving a little bit there because I've not tightened it off. I need just to go over and tighten it off. But nonetheless, we're going to go as it is. I've got the camera angled down so that you can see how much it's moving over the bumps. Uh, we're going to make us up to Castle Hill, which is historic Huddersfield building. And a nice little run. Here we go. No one coming. As you can see, as you set off, a little bit uh, clunky there, but it didn't move anywhere. Let's get the camera angle right. Speed bump comes. Yeah, it's not moved anywhere. Another speed bump coming up. You see, it? it's not moved. Another speed bump, slow down. Oh, oh, I did it clunky on purpose. So you can see. Well, I think this is the last speed bump. Yeah, it's not gone anywhere. It's sturdy. Right, okay, so let's slow down. Oh, there's another speed bump here. Let's do this. Yeah, that was quite a clunky one, but it's not really moved. Oh, I need to tighten it off yet. But, um,. We're just doing 30 mile an hour, nice and steady. As you can see, the angle of the phone's a good angle. You don't really have to move your head down too far to see it. Uh, you know, it's probably a similar angle to looking at your TFT dash. Just glimpse down, just a tiny little bit more. I like it, uh, you know, especially if you've got a newer phone with a brighter screen on your phone, you can see it, it's really visible. You can have your phone on charge as well if you've got the charging port on the side. Uh, I give it a win-win for this setup. I think it's perfect. 
around the corner. As you can see there, it moves with the bar. I've got still got a good angle when turning the corner. Right, we're going to be pulling quite hard left here from a stop position. And you'll be able to see just as the uh, firm mount turns with the bars. Right, okay. You can see it there, turning with the bar. I'm not concentrating on riding, I'm concentrating on this. So it's getting a little bit windy up here, so if you hear a little bit of wind through the uh, camera, you know why. But what do you think? It's not moved at all. I haven't even fully tightened the whole unit up yet and it's not moved. I think it's the strongest firm mount on the market by far. Um, now, if you can get the firm mount, uh, the stem mount, to fit on another bike that's actually got the stem mount holder from quad lock, there has been some issues where the vibration has been breaking the cameras on the phone. Now, I believe using this Telferizer system that I've used, this Telferizer mount, you shouldn't get the vibration uh, that's going to break your camera. But, you know, double check that. All right, okay, we're just making his way up to uh, Castle Hill. Still looking good, it's still got a good angle on it, it's not moved anywhere. Vibration's not shifted uh, the firm mount anywhere. I'll just put my camera back up. As you can see there, there's Castle Hill. There's going to be loads of people up here, it's going to be dead busy. But it's Huddersfield Historic Building, so let's go up, let's check it out. Loads of cars, not a lot of room. Just mount it down again so you can see. And we're going to go in through a few tight bends up here. If there's no cars coming down, let's take it steady up here. This is a really tight road. Cars come flying down here for some reason. So there is different firm mounts. You get the SP Connect, you can get the RAM mount Connect, you can get others. I, d I think they're inferior, I just don't think they're as good as this quad lock. By far the easiest and most strongest. Here we are, Castle Hill. Put my camera back up so you can see. Where we're going to park, let's get over here somewhere. I think this will do, let's stop here. Beautiful. And if you can see from some exposure up there, it's probably too much. Anyhow. Right, okay, that's it for this video. Please like, leave a comment and subscribe. Peace.